I'm back! What did you learn from this fast? I learned that I had a height of where I operated at, but it was for God and under God, worship God, but it was a height I placed that was meant to just be a low level, giving into, given unto the hand of the Father for him to uplift. My operation has tremendously, immensely changed in the Lord. By allowing the Holy Spirit to develop me, manufacture new things in me, flood me out, there is this insane process that God will take you through. And if you don't learn to fully, I've learned if you don't fully learn to trust in Him with your whole heart and just let Him have the process of breaking, crushing, mending, filleting, uplifting, shining, doing this, that, your life will be a million times easier. And you will ascend 7,000 times faster if you just trust in Him. And let the process happen and make the best of the process. You don't let the process defeat you. You allow the process to break you through. You allow the crushing to make you stronger. You allow everything that comes into your life, it is a gift from God and is being used to mold, shape, strengthen, uplift, and elevate you. So I learned you have to see everything as elevation, everything as a ladder, everything as a platform, everything as a game. And until you mend these type of processes, abilities, and your emotions, your feelings, your thought, your feet, every part of you starts becoming aligned with this through the scripture, there's going to be a flow of power on this side, but you may not feel it on this side. But when this side aligns with this and this aligns with this, that central power, everything you thought you was doing that was high was so low because God takes you so much higher. And when he takes you higher, he takes his production in you, his increase. You only saw your production. You read some things on the internet. Well, use Facebook Messenger, use this app, all man-made stuff, right? But he shows you the application of power, which is himself. It's changing my life. Well, that was a lot that you learned, yeah. But I would say the more important question is, what have I become? I could learn. The Bible says they're forever learning but never coming to the truth. I could learn forever many things and never come to the truth. More, a greater question I would, have, I would ask is, what have I become? Well, that takes the question of learning to 7,000 more openings in the Spirit. Because everything I've learned, everything I've been through, Everything I've read, everything I've tried, everything I've done, everything I've done, it is used for me to become like my master. Every step, my youth, my age, my cycles in life, my beginning, my end, my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, everything. We could go on for everything about the word everything on all dimensions and aspects, but it all is all mended me and made me become more like Jesus. And this is something that this world can never take from me or strip from me. It's an eternal dwelling. It's an eternal infilling. It's an eternal becoming that is mine, possession forever. And then I learned I don't hold on to what I gain. I truly learned if you want to rise in the being exalted, lower yourself, humble yourself, but in the operation of it, you don't gain to keep. You gain, and then you, this is the process. You gain to let go. You must be more passionate about giving than just receiving. When you become double passionate about giving, not just receiving, you have found the process of the will of God. And now you're excited about it. Now you clearly see the flow of it. So it's no longer pressure. It's a pure flow of power. That's a home run in the spirit right there. Crowd cheering. They can go home. Baseball players can go home. We done. Listen. I learned that the spirit of God, the mind of Christ is always in me. I can talk on revelations, on visions. And while I'm talking about that vision, 
I'm having another vision. While I'm talking about that revelation, I'm having another re revelation. Because every time I release anything, I'm receiving at the same time. So I've learned spectrums of the keep going and the flow. The, I've learned more about the acceleration in the spirit realm. How as long as you got your foot on the pedal, you're accelerating. So as long as I share, I release, I speak, I'm accelerating. So I've learned how to tap into that acceleration and I'm gaining so much newness of God in my I didn't even know I had this much revelation. It's the Holy Spirit. Wow. I don't even know what question to ask. Well, interviewer, instead of ask, look, see, ponder. Then you answer and don't question. Wow, you just totally changed my perspective about my job. I'm going to write you a check. Now, business speaking, if you was really wise, and I just learned this from Mike Murdoch. I learned, bro, I learned some powerful things in these past three days. I'm talking about, and, and by learning those things, I went to a new level in my kingship with Christ. And one was from Solomon. And one was from a man that knows about money and business, a pastor. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Father, we worship you. We prayed, we received. We fasted, we sought your face. But now, not even trying anything, do, but silence all that, I just worship you. I worship you, Lord. I glorify you. I bless you. L worship God in your private time. You're going to get some private glory. Worship God intimately. You're going to get some intimate glory. Worship God publicly. You're going to get some public glory. And we all going to partake. So I'm learning not to just do singular things but how to outwardly share it with everybody else and bring them in. See, if you share with somebody, but you don't bring them in, you'd have a problem. Now, if that person doesn't want to be brought in, I understand. But you share with people to reel them in. You cast, in evangelizing, you cast the rod. You cast the reel, the bait. Tell them about Jesus, evangelize, but you have to reel them in. Bring them to church. Bring them to your meeting. Bring them to your house. Bring them to your channel. So learning all these techniques and the Holy, everything I'm sharing, it's the Holy Spirit that has shown me this. Every revelation and true wisdom anybody ever possesses, it's, not, it's from the Holy Spirit. All wisdom comes from God. So nobody can brag about he's more wise, I'm more better, you, I deserve this, blah, blah. You, you can't. You can do it. It's not going to get you nowhere until you give honor to where honor belongs, credit to where credit belongs. When you give God what is due to him, your paycheck comes. Your increase comes. Don't deprive God of what belongs to, to him. Okay? Worship belongs to God. He must be praised. Jesus said, if they don't praise me, these very rocks will cry out. Okay? Now, if you want to know where God lives, I learned this from the prophetic too. Worship him. The scripture says he inhabits the praises of his people. You want to know where God's living? Worship him. Any other thing, any, anything else, Mr. Interviewer? No, just a seep in silence. See, you have a 30, you have a two, you have a five minute conversation with, this is a nine minute video right now. You don't have to learn to have a five minute conversation with somebody. And in less than 30 sec seconds, you didn't already told them the testimony, the power of God didn't already manifested within the first minute and a half. You didn't already seen their future, their past, the sin, the struggle in their life in less than two minutes. You didn't already took them to a deliverance. You have to learn this speed and now you can win anybody. Your, 
time is precious and your conversations must be powerful. So you must have to learn to break every fear, everything, until your conversation gets more deeper, more prophetic, more powerful, more anointed, more oil. So when you talk to people and shh, just imagine what you will com accomplish through your voice because it's all voice activated in, in 24 hours. So I'm learning how to accomplish more for the kingdom of God than I ever have. bless you. Everything I have to offer in this moment, I release to you. I release to you. I release power to you. Freedom, victory, life, joy, happiness, peace, abundance, strength, new passion, new joy, new vitality, zeal for the Lord, heavenly harvest, fire of God, just burning for Jesus, just uh, hungering for the word, just yearning and longing, breaking in pressure, seeing it as a blessing and the oil and the sweetness that comes from it. I release it to you. You have a lot of pressure in your spirit because you're not releasing you have a lot of wondering in your mind because you're not sharing. Glory be to the King of heaven. He gets all the praise, glory, and worship. Amen? Amen. One more.